Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television and Board Game Today, and in my hands is Magic Master of Metal number one, the one shot that ties into the current Magic the Gathering comic series and teases what's coming next in 2022. Uh, so this is written by uh, Marigrid Scott, lettering by Ed Dukeshire. Um, there are a couple of chapters. The first one, Axis and Lover of Things, is done by French Carlo Mengno, is the colorist and illustrator with coloring assistance by Francesco Sagala. Right Hand of God is illustrated by Jorge Coelho, uh, colored by Francesco Sagala. And then That Which is Mine is illustrated by Jacques Salomon and colored by Francesco Sagala. Uh, so this is about Tezzeret and uh, Tezzeret's involvement in the current Magic ongoing series. Uh, he showed up for what, two issues and kind of gave some warnings in the kind of background of the big bad that everyone is currently facing. So uh, what's he up to and um, what's his connection with everyone? This basically gives a lot of background on the character and how he's connected to the other ones, uh, as well as teases what are some of the grander plans as far as 2022. Um, it, it does a decent job. I think there, it, it does a solid job of connecting some of the dots. There's a lot thrown out there that's just not explained about the character. Um, things with like the eyes and all this, I just, I didn't get it. Um, but, you know, it's it's kind of minor quibbles that are irritating, but doesn't really, that doesn't hurt the overall uh, of his figuring out who the big bad is and then being able to warn the other uh, planeswalkers. We also get some of his bigger vision of what he thinks the roles of the planeswalkers are and how they fit in the multiverse. And, um, you know, we get a better sense of what type of character he is. And overall, it's fairly interesting. I'm like, I don't know tons about Tezzeret. Uh, everything I do know is from the one of the Magic the Gathering mobile games, and there was not much on that. I just played him a decent amount and didn't have quite success with him, but played him a decent amount. Uh, but overall, like, it's uh, it's an interesting comic that I, that is a decent, I think, offshoot and one-shot from the main story. However, it maybe dips in a little bit too much with um, some knowledge that I think probably has uh, that, you know, regular fans of Magic the Gathering would probably know, but like the average comic person who doesn't play Magic might not. Um, I think that's about my only negative. It's, it, the art is, is good, um, as a, there's a, a bunch of artists that have participated, and generally the styles like match up, they go over well and don't uh, distract from each other, which at times could be an issue. Um, but overall, we get to really get this cool mix of like this techno uh, magic world, and we're kind of taken to different locations as we get Tezzeret's story. Um, so this is like a switch to one of the artists. So you, you get basically the, the main kind of mini stories that are within uh, Better Ideas, uh, or it's where the, the art will change. Um, and you can see one art style there. We get another one here. Like it's, it's noticeable, but it's not enough that I think it distracts. Um, the other big is, we now know, Magic the Hidden Plane, Planeswalker, number one, coming in 2022. This is the next series that I have a feeling will be coming post the current one. So it'll be the next uh, storyline. Um, so overall, like, it's, it's interesting. It teases a lot. Uh, Tezzeret, I think, it, it, it makes a case that this is a very interesting character that we should care about and uh, maybe pay some more attention to. And uh, there will be some big things in 2022 concerning him. Um, but overall, this is one that I think uh, people who are really hardcore into the magic story, the current magic um, comic story, and plan on following up and reading the 2022 uh, series, it's really geared towards them. Um, this is not for, the, I think, the casual reader. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, out now in comic shops, you can go get it. We're going to link beneath this video, put in your zip code, tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We'll have some links. There'll be affiliate links, so we get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site, so thank you. I want to thank Boom for opening us up with a review copy, a digital copy. I went and purchased this one. And, of course, thank you all for watching. If you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. And if you're into games, board games, card games, uh, collectible card games, trading card games, uh, miniature games, or role-playing games, check us out at BoardGameToday.com. Find us on YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Board Game Today, keeping it nice and consistent as well. So until next time, keep rolling those dice, keep reading those comics, get your game on, and keep it geeky.
Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.